Hi everyone, this is Russ in IOLINE Customer Service. Today I'm going to show you how to create a centerline trace using CorelDRAW and just about any font. Uh, it doesn't work for every font. Uh, there might be some that don't work in Corel, um, but it works for about 99% of the fonts out there. So the first thing we need to do is open up Corel and I will create a new page. Letter is fine. And I'm going to type out some text here, just the word IOLINE. Go back to the pick tool so it's selected, and we'll resize it a little so it's a little bigger. Uh, make sure it's selected, and I'm going to change the font to something that has a little more curviness to it. And then I'm going to zoom in on it just so we can see it a little better, a little more detail. Okay. Now we need to go into simple wireframe mode, and you'll notice that there are places on the design that uh, overlap, and these can confuse some of the tracing options, so we're going to go ahead and weld these. So if you go to at Arrange, Shaping, and Weld, it will automatically weld all of those spots. Okay, back into Enhanced mode so we can see the final result. And what we want to do for tracing is convert this to a bitmap. So go to bitmaps and convert to bitmap. And the default settings are OK for this. Hit OK. And then if you go back to the bitmap menu, you'll notice that there's more options available. And centerline trace, line drawing is what we want. So it does a quick uh, centerline trace on this. I'm going to uncheck delete original image because I'm going to use it as a guide. So hit OK. And it keeps the bitmap on there, but you can see the little centerline trace in the middle of it. So if we go to view simple wireframe, it'll gray out the bitmap and let us see the lines a little better. So I need to first ungroup all of these so that we have the ability to work on individual shapes. And you'll notice now it's ungrouped, so I can click on just the eye. And I'll zoom in a little bit here just to see it better. And go to your Shape tool. And this allows you to click on nodes and edit individual pieces here. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to clean this up a little bit here. I'm going to get rid of some of these extra lines and things that are in here. So you can select nodes, right-click on a node, and hit Delete and that gets rid of it. And then if you grab a node, you can pull it to where you want it to go. A uh, second node pulled over to that same node would actually join automatically. And then I'm going to adjust the handles to make the curve a little smoother and nicer. And so I just kind of go around different parts of the design and try to tweak and fix little things here and there that we don't need. Um, nodes and things that shouldn't be there. You can click on them and hit delete on the keyboard to get rid of them. Um, move the handles around. You can right click on a on node and click smooth and that will smooth out the handles so they're not so rough. And so again going through you can delete nodes that you don't need. Right click smooth. Adjust the handles a little bit so they're smoother lines and just generally just kind of clean up the design, make it look a little nicer using the background font as a guide to just be in the center of that font. So I'm just going to go through here and just clean up a bunch of stuff here. And you'll see things like this when you 
uh, move a node away from another node. You can see some are connected, some are not. So what I want to do is right click on those and hit break apart. And those will break apart each node so they're separate. And then I can click on them and delete them. And then when I touch the nodes together, they will connect automatically. Okay, and so this is a little smoother here. And then up at the top of the L, you notice it kind of angles off to the corner there. Um, I generally just want to get rid of all these different nodes here because we don't need them. And then just drag that up to the top so it's kind of straight. Seems to happen on the tops and bottoms of letters sometimes. And again, we're just kind of going through each little letter here moving the nodes around, making sure everything is a little smoother. Uh, again, it doesn't really make a lot of difference with rhinestone designs. They're pretty forgiving when it comes to uh, line smoothness. Uh, it won't really show in the design when you're done. Uh, but just to make it look a little nicer, uh, we can go through and clean things up, and that'll make your rhinestones place a little nicer in the design, so it's less work in Crystal Studio. And we're still smoothing out shapes and things. And breaking apart nodes because they're stuck together in the weird places, like this particular one on the end. I'll break that one apart too. And separate some of these lines. Also, don't forget about your undo option. If you mess up on a line or something or a node you deleted accidentally, just you click undo. It's also located under file undo. I'm um, excuse me, edit undo. And you saw me just move the mouse. Uh, a little hand appeared, and the mouse uh, moved the screen around. Uh, I'm pressing the mouse wheel like a button. So you push down on it and click, and it turns into a hand which lets you drag the, the, the page around, which makes it a little easier to, to get around as you're editing. And continuing to clean up nodes, smoothing things here and there, making sure curves are nice and curvy, uh, deleting nodes that you don't need, extending curves that aren't extended. That uh, There's a cusp option in here where it creates a, a corner and uh, we don't necessarily need that for this design, so I'm making sure that there's no corners in here. And uh, almost done here. Connect those two. Smooth it out. And then one last one. We can delete that one. There we go. So this looks pretty good. Everything seems to follow the path pretty well down the middle of the font. <coughs> okay, when we're done, uh, the last thing we want to do before, uh, we want to go back to enhanced mode, and we want to click on the bitmap itself and delete it. We don't need that anymore. Uh, if you do export that, with the PLT, it won't open up in Crystal Studio at all. So, uh, one thing I wanted to do is make a different color for this dot on the eye. So, I'm going to select everything and give it an outline color by right-clicking on a color. And then I'm going to click on just that little dot and give it a different color. So that one is now green versus blue. So now that'll come in as a separate, separate layer and I can make whatever size stone I want for that that little dot. So we're going to select everything, go File, Export, and we'll give it a name. Just overwrite the original one I did. Make sure Selected Only is on, and you will get that option if you see these black dots around your design. That has to be selected before you hit Export. Okay, we'll hit Export. 
On this page, we want to make sure that says bottom left under plotter origin. Nothing for pens and advanced. You want to make sure curve resolution is as low as possible. And then hit OK and you're done. So now we can open Crystal Studio and see how the design turned out. And there's my file. And there it is. And you'll notice we've got two layers, one for the eye line and one for the dot on the eye. And I'll make that one a little bigger just to show it off a little. Zoom in so you can see it, and it looks pretty good. Not very many missing stones here. And it looks better with tens. Okay, now in order to clean this up a little bit, what I might want to do is uh, come in and copy some stones. Uh, there's a couple of uh, little blank spots there. You can see one on the eye there. So I'll click on the Modify Stones option, right-click on a stone and copy, and right-click anywhere else and paste. And you move it around until there's no exclamation. And then we can go on to different places. We can also uh, paste another one in another place right there. And we'll paste another one right there. And that kind of fills in things pretty well. And it looks like the rest of it is pretty well filled in here. So that's pretty much it.